Hello, everybody. Welcome back to PH Board U.S. Naturalized, uh, where we're going to go over our actual expenses versus the basic budget that we set out last January. The basic budget is $800 a month. There's a lot of YouTubers out there that say you can't live in the Philippines for $800 a month. There's no way, U.S. dollars that is. And uh, we set up a budget for $800, and we're going to show you how we did this month. So There's only been one month since January we didn't make it. I think we missed it by 4 bucks. I can't remember. Yeah, something like that. Go watch all the videos. <laughs> You're going to be able to see it. So this, uh, this month, uh, we got those ten, uh, same 10 categories, and we're going to start with housing. We allocated 10,000 pesos for housing, which is about $172 U.S., and there are places around us that you can rent for 10,000 pesos. They have one bedroom, one, one bath. bath. Yeah. Uh, sometimes they have a gate where you can mm -hmm. park your car. Sometimes they don't. Uh, but they are here. We're living right now in a place called Inayaga, which is south of Cebu, about an hour, about 20 minutes north of Naga City. Or you can really rent like 5,000 pesos, you know. Yeah, we did find one for 3500 Yeah, 3500 Yeah, yeah it's you're up gonna, to you. You're going to park somewhere else. It's not yeah. like you've got street parking. Yeah. But yeah, it's, it's there. Um, so uh, how do we do on that? Well, we don't pay any rent. <laughs> so for us, 10000 is just a, a placeholder to get it to closer to actual reality. Because not too many people are going to be in our situation. Jeff came uh, to America as a teacher and was able to build a house here while she was teaching. So I got a wife and a house. And this is the house. Yeah, it's lovely. Yeah, the wife's lovely too, so it's not too bad. So the next category is electrical. Uh, we took our yearly expenses for electrical, divided them by 12, and we came up with a basic budget for our electrical bill of 4,600 pesos, which is about 80 bucks a month. But last month, it, we blew it. It was almost double. Yeah, blowing it means to say that we use the air conditioner a lot. A lot. Yeah crazy amount because it was so hot. We used an air, condition, air conditioner in the afternoon, which was rare for us. Mm -hmm. uh, so the total electric bill for, for June was 7250 or about 150 bucks. So we blew that pretty good, um, $125 by um, 35, 40, 45 dollars. But the aircon was there. blowing really good, you know? <laughs> yeah, it was comfortable, which is important. Uh, we have two categories of water that we use for our basic budget, uh, general use water and drinking water. Uh, we had a leak in our general use in our toilet. Mm -hmm. uh, because it gets flushing, mm -hmm. even if we're not yeah. flushing it. It was, it was up, but still leaking, no. yeah, still running. So uh, we had to replace the innards. There's a video on there about how not to do it. You can watch that, but it did manage to seem to stop. And as a result, our general use water went from like 570 down to 410, which is still more than our budget. Our budget was 320, about six bucks. And the 410 is about seven. So a little bit over, but not crazy. Water is not expensive, but it is necessary. So that's why it's in a budget. And then we have our drinking water, which so, we buy. Yeah, we here. buy it in the refilling station, water refilling station. Yeah. What are you doing? I'm getting this jug. Oops. This is the kind of jugs we buy for how many pesos? 15 pesos. That's a good amount of water for 15 pesos. Yep. And so I, after the whole month, we budgeted 340 pesos for that which is about the same, about six bucks. And uh, we only used 135. So I, we're drinking water, but uh, maybe we need to look at that figure later. Anyway, it's well, $2. you drink a lot of soda. No, I, okay, maybe I do. I'm not gonna argue. <laughs> I'll lose anyway. <laughs> the next category is groceries. Um, we allocate 15,000 pesos a month for groceries. Why a lot? Well, because we eat. <laughs> <laughs> well, it includes everything in the house, cleaning supplies, oh, yeah. toiletries, makeup, <laughs> bath. So that's $267. I saw another guy who put down 18000 for him and his wife. So 15,000 pesos is not an unreasonable figure. If you think you've got two people in America eating and buying their supplies, their paper products and cleaning stuff for $267, it's not bad, right? In June, we only spent 12200 Wow, why was that? Because we, we were away for mm. four days, you know? We took a trip, which yeah. is not in the basic budget, guys. So we, we spent 210 as opposed to 267 So we saved a little bit there. Entertainment, uh, a budget, basic budget for entertainment is 2,000 pesos or about 35 bucks a month. Not very much. Yeah. How did you, 
How did you manage to entertain <laughs> yourself with 2,000 pesos, Mark? I can't believe that. Watch a lot of, a lot of videos on YouTube. And that includes our 1,000 peso uh, smart internet usage. So we only spent about 1,200 $1, pesos on eating out. But that was about four or five times eating out, so it's not expensive to eat out here. So where do you eat out? At the, at the Karen Derrier or on the street. <laughs> or McDonald's. Or McDonald's, yeah. Jollibee. Yeah, sometimes Burger King, but Burger King's expensive. So this month we are over budget. Uh, we spent 2220 or about $38 as opposed to 2,000 pesos. Not terrible, right? We have a help category. That's because you got to have help around the house on occasion. So we allowed 2,000 pesos for that. Or again, $35. Yeah, we have people who come in yeah, here in the do? morning and they sweep the, the yard and they water the plants. And we also require help to buy us our water jug in the water filling station or take our laundry to the laundry shop or in the grocery. We give, we yes. give tips. Yeah, yeah. And occasionally cutting the grass. Yeah, and occasionally we yeah. have a little front yard there with the grass and we ask yeah. people who can help us with So that. our basic budget is 2000 but last month we only spent 1560 Probably because we were out of town for a minute, huh? Right, and then yeah. we were not cutting the grass much. Oh, well, it wasn't growing. It was so hot. So hot. It was crazy hot. The grass was just trying to grow, just stay alive. But uh, we did cut it once last week because the rain has come mm -hmm. and it's taken off. It was waiting for that water. The next category is transportation. We do not have a car. No, we don't have a car. Why we not? Well, it's because public transport here is very accessible. We have the Sika, we have the tricycle, we have the jeepneys, we have buses, we have taxis. So why mm. bother? Right, and inexpensive. Inexpensive. And you don't have to deal with the traffic when you drive. No. Which is probably the number one reason why I don't want to do that. Yeah. Because it's crazy driving here. People go the wrong direction. Right. You know, all the lines are merely suggestions and mm. not really how you're supposed to drive. Um, even the lights can be suggestions on occasion, right. as long as there's not a traffic guy there. So it's always a challenge to drive yeah. here. So congratulations to those who, expats like us who are still driving. Yep. Yeah. You're good. Yeah, but you don't have to here. Transportation, we allocate in our basic budget 4,000 pesos, which is about $70 uh, US. And in June, we only spent 1979 We didn't go very many places other than our trip. So that's about $34 again. We saved a good amount of money on our transportation costs last month. Laundry, every month we allocate 1,600 pesos. That's about 2750 US dollars. Mm -hmm. How much does that usually run us and what does that involve? Oh, laundry. We Just, send it to the laundry shop. Yeah. We send our dirty clothes to the laundry shop. And we've never lost anything. We never lost anything. Yeah. So we give those girls there working in the laundry shop a little extra. A little extra. Yeah, because it's nice. You don't have to worry about it. It yeah. comes back folded, yes. although Jess refolds it. Yeah, <laughs> I do. So miscellaneous is a category we threw in there just to make sure we caught other things, like maybe we had some casual help come in to do some uh, physical labor, like mm -hmm. fix our benches or, mm -hmm. or cut down some of our leaves and stuff because this, this jungle around here grows pretty fast. Right. And last month we hit our budget. We hit 5000 So that's about eighty three fifty per month. And we bought sawdust with that, you know? Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. We and we sawdust, bought, we had to we buy a keyboard. Rice, keyboard. We had to buy, we buy our OTC medicine. I yeah. buy some aspirins mm -hmm. and if we need some bioflu or something like there that. There are little things that just pop up, you yeah. know? So yeah. we get it from our miscellaneous right. budget. So. That's, that's where that comes from. So all together, all of those budget items come up to 46,400 pesos per month, which is $800 US. Um, we're working on putting a chart at the end which shows it in other denominations, other country currencies. So hopefully we can have that up for you before we, we send out this video. Uh, last month, uh, we only spent 42,354 pesos. So even though we overspent electricity, uh, we were 4,046 pesos under budget, which is about 70 bucks. What is 70 bucks? 70, 70 bucks. Six, yeah. yeah, what is that? We saved $70 against our $800 budget. Oh. Give that to me. <laughs> yeah, because well, I don't have I'm it in the my wife, you know? <laughs> it's I, in the bank. I do the budgeting, so that should be in my <laughs> pocket. It's, a, it's in the bank. Um, so yes, this is a basic budget, and you're not going to do anything else with this budget. You're not going on trips. We took a trip last month. We even have the cost of the trip on the, mm -hmm. on the video there. You can watch that. Uh, that's obviously not in this budget. 
Right. Right? It's very basic. Yeah. yeah. Sort of, it's no fun. Yeah, if you live this budget, you'll be able to live, but not much else. So right. if you come here with 800 bucks a month, you're going to It's doable. And especially if something comes up. Right. Yeah. So you need some leeway. We help with our folks. Uh, we buy mom's meds. We, we pay for her doctors if she has to visit a right. doctor. You know. And we give to the church. Yeah. And, yeah. and our neighbors sometimes come to us and say help. You help. Uh, and they never give back the money. It's okay. <laughs> yeah, okay. Well, now, we do tell them no on occasion. Yeah. Oh, not yeah. on occasion. If we think it's not yeah. logical. You know? yeah. so, but if you can help, we'd like to help. Yeah. Guys, we hope this helps you guys get an understanding of what it costs to live here. Uh, we don't have health insurance. Uh, we pay as we go if we need to go. Fortunately, mm -hmm. we've been very healthy. Yeah. Uh, Jess is eligible for PhilHealth. Um, you haven't signed up, have you? No, I don't need to. Oh, you don't need to? Yeah, it's automatic. When you hit the oh. age of Zig Zero, okay. you are automatically there. So there are help. benefits to PhilHealth. Uh, over 65, it's very hard to get health insurance in the, in the Philippines. I was looking online. I couldn't even give you a guesstimate of how much it would cost to get health insurance. But considering how much we haven't spent since we've been here, health insurance at this point is not critical. And if it becomes critical, hopefully we'll be able to make it back to America yeah. where we are covered. Otherwise. Where we are covered. Yeah. yeah, if, yeah. if, we, if, if <laughs> it's possible to travel. Yeah, so you guys put down what you think about our basic budget. You think we're being unrealistic. You think we're being reasonable. It's working for us every month now except for one. We've been under our budget, basic budget. Are we too low on our estimates? But... This is what we're spending. These are actual numbers that we're spending every month in these categories. So let us know. We appreciate you uh, watching us. We appreciate you guys subscribing and your faithfulness and following. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for watching us. And we'll see you next time. Until next time. Bye. Bye-bye.